Hey guys, HW. I was just staring at the plaque outside the Rockpool restaurant on the corner of Bly Street and Hunter Street in Old Sydney Town. Directly behind me, underneath Rockpool, and I can't film it because there's too many punters standing there. But there's another restaurant called Spice Temple. And I over the past week they've been banging on about it in social media and in the press that it's an opportunity to have a $25 lunch in a hatted restaurant and I saw the special as I went past today and I might take the opportunity to cross here <clears throat> I saw the special today was noodles and a beer or wine for 25 bucks so I'll leave that up to you to decide whether that's good value or not. But I suppose for a hatted restaurant it is. And that's the rock pool over there. The black one. And then where the punters are standing there, that's the Spice Temple. So on the corner of Lion Hunter. It's a miserable old day in Sydney Town today. I'll give you the weather observations in a minute. But directly behind us is this old um, what is this it's a old I was about to call it an obel obelisk but it's more of a it's more of a cross looks like it's a cross for the clergy who dedicated themselves to the faith but what I was going to say there's part of the construction for the new metro line just there and I can hear the jackhammers going away as I walk past so I'll try to avoid that but let's do the weather observations while we're standing here looking down Hunter Street So you're going to get up to 17 degrees Celsius today in Sydney. 90% chance of heavy rain. And the winds from the west at 15 kilometres an hour. Now what we're doing today is we're taking another one of those walks down the full length of a famous Sydney street. And the one we're doing today is Castle Ray Street. And in a moment, when we reach the corner of Castle Ray and Hunter, I'll get out a bit of information, tell you a bit about Castle Ray Street. I might use this old payphone on the corner of Castle Ray Street and Hunter Street to read through the information for you. And while I'm here, I think this is the same in a lot of other countries around the world now, but payphones in Australia are free to use to make national calls and calls to mobiles. So remember that when you come to Oz, if you need to. All right, what can I tell you about Castle Ray Street? So originally, and I never knew this, I didn't, didn't know until I looked this up, but Castle Ray Street used to form part of a tram loop. The trams used to go down Pitt Street and, re and then the return trip would take you down Castle Ray Street back to Central Station. So I never knew that. It's quite interesting. Now that closed in 1957. I don't know whether any of you are old enough to have been around to have actually rode on that loop. And there's a couple of buildings 
along Castle Ray Street that are historical and I'll try to stop at them as we move along I think the first one's 72 and then the next one's 211 which is that fire station and then there's the old Downing Centre we've done that before but we'll do it again so let's get moving and see what the punters are up to on this cold wet day in old Sydney town there's a bit of construction going on again for that metro line I should put my glasses away Oh, that's better. The ravages of time. I've got to wear glasses now when I look at my mobile phone to be able to read anything. <laughs> Disaster. Not that long ago I had 20-20 vision. Over Hosking's place, and I noticed this before because look at that building up there, it's got the purple mural painted on it. It's quite unusual for the city to have something as uh, <coughs> bold as that painted on it. It's an armored truck there surprised they still exist in the days of no cash Martin Place still well and truly under construction again for the me for that metro line MLC Centre piercing the sky well that's a bit of a bit of a new addition so it's starting to take shape the the new Martin Place station or the revamped Martin Place station you're going to be able to enter it just there on Castle Ray Street it'll be one of many entrances I'll come back and do a film when that's open as we get closer to the intersection of King Street and Castle Ray you start to see all the exclusive shops start to pop up Dolce and Gabbana over here See Bulgari just there. Valentino. And Chanel. And our first look at Center Point Tower after navigating through the buildings of the early part of Castle Ray Street it's 
It's a green light, get the skates on. No one lining up outside the exclusive stores today though, which is a surprise for a Friday. I like this Eiffel Tower display here. I've seen on the news that they've put the Olympic rings on there. On the Eiffel Tower now. Getting ready for the games. Be interesting to see how they go. I think the last games that made actually made a profit was Sydney in 2000. I think prior to that and the ones since have all been have all gone broke. Are oh, we? We're getting close to number one of the numbers. I think. Wait a sec. Let me check my phone again. So look over at the old St. James Arcade. We've gone too far, we're going to have to backtrack. Now I'm going to be a real Aussie here and call this exclusive brand Hermes. That's probably not how you pronounce it, but that's what we always call it. We call it Hermes. But that's the, uh, the first of the historical buildings I wanted to capture on Castle Ray Street. It's the Trust Building. It was constructed between 1914 and 1916. Apparently it's an example of a interwar commercial palazzo architecture style. And back in the day, it was also the home of the Delhi Telegraph newspaper at one stage as well. I think you can pick up on the film, the streets are fairly wet. So there's always there's already been a bit of precipitation in Sydney today. This is James's arcade. And it's starting to rain now. Damn it! I've got no umbrella. Get under these shop awnings. So there's David Jones, a famous David Jones department store. If I had a dollar for every time I've walked past that, I'd be millionaire, multi-millionaire. Better get my little rag out so that I can, uh, so that I can wipe the lens if it gets wet.
There we go. Give it, let's give it a go. Does that work? Did that get rid of any drops that might have fallen on the lens? There's that cheeky little cafe there that I love to have a coffee at. Toby's Estate. Just outside Prada. Oh. Center point tower again. Raindrops coming down. few punters getting about with their lunch. Navigate that vape cloud there. We're on the corner of Castle Ray and uh, Market Street and this is an artist's rendering of what the new part of David Jones department store is going to look like. There's that bridge there, that pedestrian bridge which is just here. And look above it, they're going to put a massive big office tower on top. It's interesting. That's an interesting old building there. Bosch Chambers. In the back of the Sheridan Grand Hotel, it's got an unusual shape on it. I'm try to indent a big arch into it. Oh, here's the Palace Chinese restaurant up here. If you ever feel like a bit of yum cha when you come to Sydney, that's a good option. The old palace. It's owned by the same mob that owns Sky Phoenix in the Pitt Street Mall. But I rate this place more. I, I much prefer the, the service the staff provide up here. I think Sky Phoenix is too big. There's too many tables they've got to look after. But that one up there is a bit more intimate. Passing by a few jewellery stores here. I'd give you a look, but um, when you do that, they usually shoo you off. Because they don't like you filming what stock they have. I suppose they're worried you're going to come back and ram it and pinch it.
I love I like this place here it's called Trinity Jewel Trinity Jewelers and look it's got a similar font to Tiffany Jewelers no accent out there I don't think I'm gonna go across the road here So I've got to capture this lovely old building, the Castle Ray Boutique Hotel, the old New South Wales Masonic Club. Oh, the old lodge. But I love a look at I love the look of the entrance of the hotel just there. It reminds me of a hotel that I once stayed at in London called Rubens Hotel or the Ruben Hotel, something like that it was called. I think it's been renamed now. So this blooming forest that I've documented before, I just noticed they've still got the three dollar coffee on offer. Look, between one p.m. and two thirty. Let's run over the street here. Over what street is this? Park Street. Might get on the other side of Park, uh, Castle Ray here now. few more awnings on this side to hide under Where it says World Gym just here. This used to be the Catholic Club. It's now called the Castle Ray. I used to go in there every day. Once upon a time, I used to jog from North Sydney Station. Was it North Sydney Station? Yeah, I used to jog from North Sydney Station over to here. Have a shower, get changed, just keep myself in the locker. And then I'd go to work and then come back after work and do some weights. Uh, those were the good old days. I better make take note of this. This is St George's. Presbyterian Church on Castle Ray Street. Probably get some raindrops on the lens as I look up here. Pretty sure there's been a few state funerals at this little church. I look at the old uh, old advertisements on this uh, building here. Johnsons and Sons. Leather and grindery merchants. What's grindery? Get over the road here to film film this building as an old vintage Ferrari drives past a blue one to boot yeah this building here oh the Porter house I've had a coffee in there before it's a nice looking building though 
but overnight if you come back it's a wine bar so remember that the little strip in between Park Street and Bathurst you can find the porterhouse and have yourself some vino Apologies for the constant wiping of the lens, but I hate when I look back and there's bloody droplets on the lens. It's passing over Bathurst here, Bathurst Street. Punchers trying to save money by rolling their uh, rolling their uh, luggage up the street. Look at this coffee shop, Normcore Coffee Roasters. Looks all right. I like the rustic look of it. Might have to go in there one day. So last time, this is another historical building, but last time I came past, I couldn't see the fire trucks in here. But this is the main fire station for for uh, Sydney. And I'll get across the road and film back towards it soon. But have a look at all the fire trucks out on the road as well. Before I do that, we'll have a look at this old Australian Workers' Union building first, because this is awesome. This is the building that's got that Alpha restaurant on the bottom level, which will go past in a sec. But directly behind me, we can see through the window, this is where the... Uh, the fire museum is or the new south wales fire brigades museum is got water carts and old engines and old carriages it's pretty cool this old engine in here dennis with a crank start Oh, let's go, Dennis. Jesus, the rain's starting to come down now. Yeah, here's this Alpha restaurant, the bottom of that workers' union. Might give the uh, lens another wipe. We we'll use this awning to look back at the old Metropolitan Fire Brigade building. Constructed in 1887. It's an example of the Victorian free classical architecture side style as another fire engine heads out to no doubt check on a fire alarm that's gone off or maybe even somewhere close to the city like Darlow maybe somebody's left something on the stove and set off a fire who knows.
Here's another ice, nice old building, the old telephone exchange. And now they've got the uh, the wine in the window there to signify that this is the entrance to the Meat and Wine Co restaurant. Get in there and have yourself a lump of cow with your choice of sauces and a few glasses of a Australian wine, maybe from the Barossa or Margaret River over in WA or even the Coonawarra. When I used to be big into the vino, I always went for a Cab Sav from the Coonawarra and a Merlot from Margaret River. Never really took a fancy to the Barossa ones, but it might be just personal taste. Yeah, I rue the decision not to bring an umbrella now. What an idiot. Let's turn off the camera at this bit until we get over to the next awning. Okay, so it was an opportune time to get hit by this rain because I noticed the battery had gone down to 1%. So it was time to change batteries. As we look over at the next historical building on Castle Ray Street or on the corner of Castle Ray and Liverpool Street, it's the Downing Centre Courts that were once the Mark Foy's department store. So there you go. I love the top of the, the corners of the building. It's got the real Munster's family or Adam's family vibe, hasn't it? Uh, let's say Adam's family. I can't remember whether they've both got similar style house. It's one of those two anyway. Oh, let's take the opportunity to cross. Oh, she's coming down now. God, it's starting to fill with water. Have a look at it. Terrible. Might give the lens another wipe. So you imagine back in the day, imagine the trams ripping down Castle Ray Street here. There was a, probably a stop right here where people could alight and go and check out the latest hats or dresses in the Mark Foy's department store. Geez, look at the water coming out of the side of the building here. What's going on there? Oh, they've got a downpipe painted into the into the building but it would have been good if they connected to the street rather than having it come out onto the footpath oh museum towers that's another nice looking building as one of the officers of the court keeps the peace in the in the court during proceedings imagine back in the day this this footpath would have been packed 
with the ladies with their shopping bags up and down each arm waiting to get on the tram to get down to Central Station and get home on the train yeah look at this the bloody rains going horizontal now I'm gonna have to take those awnings down that side of Castle Ray Street and avoid the Goulburn parking structure side because there's no awnings on that side but as we look across at another Masonic building this is the main Masonic building in Sydney where they have their meetings and their gatherings had one of my school formals in that building back in the day entered through those stairs just there yeah look at this we're almost at the end of Castle Ray Street and this is where I'm going to get absolutely trashed by the water. Somehow I've got to get down to there. 301 Castle Ray. And get under those awnings. Now how do I do it? Without getting absolutely soaked. Could maybe use part of the parking structure. But it's not going to give me that much shelter tell you what with this rain too and the water trickling down the gutter I feel like I need to water the horses too oh how are we gonna do this I ended up taking a taking a bolt just bolting across the road got drenched oh look there's a train passing underneath the, the Goulburn Street parking structure both ways but look at the water making its way down the gutter now when it rains in Sydney it rains but his shoes are soaked too be walking around wet feet now Castle Ray as it meets Campbell Street. I filmed this before, but that tunnel over there, that's where that famous scene from The Matrix was filmed. Where Neo meets, or Neo Ke Keanu Reeves meets uh, Trinity in the car with the rest of her band for the first time. quite apt that it's raining today like it was in the movie now where that bus is just passed over there oh let's get across bugger it ah.
what I was about to say was I was, <laughs> was, I was going to cut the video short because I didn't want to walk this strip but the light went green so I thought stuff it I'll do it But here we are, we've come to the end of Castle Ray Street, where it meets Hay Street. And behind it... Behind it is Belmore Park. Belmore Park, right next to Central Station. Or right on Central Station. So that's it, that's where we end the vid today and that's your look into old Sydney town for this week. A skirt down Castle Ray Street all the way, seeing where the old trams used to go and take all the punters down here to Central Station to get on the trains. A very wet walk this week, but a walk nonetheless. So again, as we look up at the old railway bridge heading into Central Station as a train heads off heading towards Town Hall Station I'll thank you for coming along on the journey and I'll oh hey you know what I was almost gonna end the video too early I want to take this opportunity on this dreary day in Sydney to thank Vince and Jenny for the nectars. Thanks Vince and Jenny. Your nectars will form part of the extra bonus footage that I'll put at the end of this vid. Where I partake of the delicious beans that we call coffee. That are made into that delicious beverage that we all enjoy. Nectar. All right, so we've just stepped in off Castle Ray Street. That's Castle Ray Street. You can see down the, the hallway there. And we've stopped at, a, stopped at a little place called The Little Sparrow inside the Westfields because it's raining cats and dogs and I just can't be bothered searching up and down the street for a uh, place to, to sit down for a coffee. So let's come in here. And they give you this little bird cage number. I'm number five, and I've got a couple of delicious cheesecakes here, New York cheesecakes, as we await for the nectar to arrive. The flat white has arrived. Little Sparrow. So again, thank you very much Vince and Jenny for the plentiful nectars and cakes that you've provided today.